my Doctor Who DVD collection. It's Captain Jack Harkness, the face of Bo. Hello and welcome to Hootube Gallifrey 2 In this video, I'm going to be bringing you my Doctor Who collection update for April 2017, containing stuff I bought in both March 2017 and early April, as this is a delayed video as I couldn't film as I was away. So yeah, we will start with Gallifrey 5, a big finish audio box set, chapters 19 to 21 of the Gallifreyan Chronicles, which is based on Gallifrey, and I'm looking forward to listening to, yeah, it's um, Gallifrey 5, not Gallifrey 1, which you would think you'd start on, but as this was quite cheap, it was only 9.99. I just decided to get it, as it is normally about £25, so yeah, I just got it. So yeah, three different chapters of Gallifrey. Five. Looking forward to listening to this, as I all I'm always interested in Doctor Who mythology. So yeah, similar covers for all of them, which is quite disappointing. But it's the contents which counts rather than the appearance. So yeah, now moving on to the next item. So yeah, the next item is Revelation of the Dalek. Starring Colin Baker as the Sixth Doctor, and yeah, now I have completed all the classic Dalek stories. I haven't watched them all, but completed all of them, apart from the ones which I'm missing, but you can't get those. So yeah, every commercially available classic Dalek story I have now got, which is good. So yeah, Revelation of the Daleks looks alright. Apparently part one of this story is pretty much walking all the way through which I'm not looking forward to, but it's meant to have quite a good plot. And yeah, now with my new camera, which I haven't mentioned, you can actually read the blurb, rather with my phone camera, which you couldn't. So yeah, here it is. You can read everything. So if you want to have a pause, please do. And now moving on to the next DVD, we have got The Sunmakers, which I have been meaning to pick up for a while, but I have never picked it up, really. So, yeah, The Sunmakers looks like a brilliant story, absolutely brilliant. Looking forward to watching this one. So, yeah, if you want to have a look on the back, you can pause it. And, yeah, there's some images here and quite a few bonus features. So, yeah, looking forward to watching the story should be good now moving on to the next classic dvd we have got image of the fendel now image of the fendel is meant to be a very good story and i am personally looking forward to watching image of the fendel so here is the back if you want to have a pause please do and yeah there's all the legal stuff on the bottom so yeah that's dvds out of the way now moving on to magazines and yeah, I've got three Doctor Who magazines this month, which is a bit... Well, actually four, including Doctor Who Adventures. So yeah, let's begin. So we have got quite an old Doctor Who magazine. Well, it's very old. 20 years old now. October 1997. And yeah, got this for 50p from a junk shop. And yeah, the junk shop wasn't a nice place, really. It was very messy, full of dust. And yeah, quite overpriced apart from this. There were unopened Dot Who figures, well, open Dot Who figures from around the uh, Little T. D Davis era, and they were selling them for £5, which is just incredibly overpriced, I think. Really, it is incredibly overpriced. And yeah. But yeah, got this, and there's some good stuff inside it. You know, if you want to have a pause, you can do now. On my old phone camera, you couldn't, but now you can actually read this. So yeah, just zooming out. Might not be able to read it all in the dark bits, but yeah. And yeah, some good stuff in this magazine. There's a comic in here, which looks very good. And yeah, some great detail on it. It's not coloured, which is a bit of a shame, but you know, can't all be in colour. And yeah. That's issue, um, what issue is it? Ah, oh, issue 257 out of the way. So yeah, now moving on to the Doctor Who annual, 
2006. And yeah, this is a bit of a random item. Yeah, it's pretty dated now. It's I don't really collect old annuals and get annuals for Christmas, but annuals I don't really pick up because they just the same every year. But when I looked inside this annual, I decided there was some pretty good stuff in this annual. Like, look at the artwork there. That is not a picture. That is genuine artwork, which is very good. And yeah, some great content in here, really. There is some incredible content, some incredible artwork. A lot better than the annuals now. This is just pure gold, really, this annual. Very good indeed, based on the Mask of Mandragora. And yeah, just looking through it. Near the back of here, there is what I did on my summer holiday, which was adapted for TV and made into Blink. So, yeah, what I did on my Christmas holidays. And, yeah, same as Blink, apart from it was adapted for this. Actually, Blink is based on this. So, yeah, some good stuff in here. And, yeah, now moving on to the next item. So, we have got another Doctor Who magazine. This is the Doctor Who Adventures, issue 22. Which, again, has some good stuff in. Nowhere near as good as the annual or the... 257 of the Doctor Who magazine. Yeah. Do you think I'm going to cut that out or not? Please put it in the comments below if you've seen some of my past videos. And yeah, this came free with a sonic screwdriver, which is pretty bad. Looks nothing like the actual sonic screwdriver. So yeah, it's a sonic screwdriver pen, which you can draw with. And there's this little TARDIS license ID card. The Doctor does not have a license to fly the TARDIS. He stole it. Why would he have a license? So yeah, that's pretty bad. And then there's this ring which doesn't fit around any of my fingers because this magazine is designed for children. And yeah, it fits around my little finger, but that's really it. And yeah, it also came free with this little TARDIS key, randomly. So yeah. Now on to the next item, we have got issue 510 of the Doctor Who magazine, which is in tribute to John Hurt, who sadly passed away earlier this year. And yeah, it has the regular stuff in, I'm not going to go through it all now. Then we have got the latest issue of DWM, which is issue 511, and is all about series 10 of Doctor Who, and has some previews for upcoming episodes, which is really exciting, because the hype for Series 10 is on the brink. So yeah, here is the um, synopsis for Episode 3 of Series 10, Thin Ice, if you want to have a pause, please do. And there's the synopsis for Episode 2, if you want to have a pause, please do. And then there's not a synopsis for Episode 1, however there's this quote which pretty much sums up what's going to happen in the episode. So yeah, that's magazines out of the way. Now on to figures. My only figure which I've got this month is the 11th Doctor 3.5 inch figure in green coat from season 6. The Doctor wasn't in season 6, well at least this Doctor wasn't in season 6. That would be Patrick Troughton. Yeah, it's made in America, who cool Doctor Who seasons as of series, which yeah. Is a bit odd, but what makes this figure worse is that the 11th Doctor never wore a green coat. He, I don't think he's ever worn a green coat, let alone in Season 6, which is maybe Series 6. Yeah, I don't like these 3.5 inch figures. The only reason why I got it, because it was one ninety nine. Yeah, originally about nine ninety nine. now reduced to one ninety nine. So yeah, now on to some quite miscellaneous items which aren't Doctor Who. So we'll start with these Star Wars Force Attacks, which I got free with something which is yet to come in this video for some reason. And yeah, some good cards. There's, you know, some decent cards in here. And yeah, here they all are. So yeah, now moving on to the next non to item. We have got this Harry Potter Chocolate Frog which was quite overpriced, but it's really a novelty item, so that's why I got it, and I've always wanted a chocolate frog. And yeah, it came with this free card, which is a Voldemort. 
so yeah, here's Voldemort's description, and yeah, it's meant to be a famous witch or wizard, I don't think they would have done Voldemort in the actual film franchise, as they released cards with famous witches or wizards, I think they would have gone for nicer witches or wizards, rather than Voldemort, so yeah, there's Voldemort, and yeah, don't really like the card that much, it just looks a bit weird, I think, so yeah, that's non two items out of the way, now moving on to Doctor Who books. So, the first Doctor Who book is The Stealers of Dreams, a new series adventure written by Stephen Lyons. And yeah, looks good this book, I'll turn over if you want to have a pause of the description. And yeah, looking forward to reading this one, as it's meant to be quite a good book. Now on to a quick read, we have got The Silorian Gift, which I got for a magnificent price of only 50p, half price of the original price. And yeah, it's a bit odd that this was originally £1, considering the next book, the quiz book, was 4 99 and this was made a few years after, and of course of inflation and stuff like that, you'd expect this to be higher, but it's not, and this is fictional rather than this, and fictional is normally a bit more than, and yeah, here's the back, if you have a pause, looking forward to reading this one, is quick reads are quite good books, then here's quiz book number two, which is a good book, questions on series two of Doctor Who, mainly, there's a few other questions in here, so yeah, looking forward to quizzing myself on series two, which isn't my favourite series of New Who, but it's alright, there's some good stories in there. And yeah, now on to Target books, which I have displayed before in my Doctor Who unboxing, but I'll go through again. So we have got The Dominators by Ian Martyr. Not seen the story, haven't read the book yet. Then we've got The War Games by Malcolm Hulk. And yeah, very good story, The War Games, haven't read this one yet, as well as the other target books yet to come. I will get round to reading them eventually, it might be 20 years before I've read them all, but yeah, great cover art on this. Doctor Who and the Sea Devils, again by Malcolm Hulk, again lovely cover like pretty much all target books apart from the later ones. Doctor Who and the Three Doctors by Terence Dix, yeah love the detail on this cover, really do. Doctor Who and the Time Warrior, again by Terence Dix. And then finally, we have got The Time Monster, again by Terence Dix. So yes, that is it for my Doctor Who collection update for April 2017. Well, technically, my Doctor Who collection update with a bit of Star Wars and a bit of Harry Potter. So yeah, until the next time, goodbye. And the last item which I was unable to do as I couldn't put it on my table is the Doctor Who Series 10 poster. And yeah, here it is. So until the next time, goodbye again.